Welcome to a journey into one of the most intriguing intersections of science, the orchestrated objective reduction, or ORCH, or theory, a hypothesis that ventures into the depths of consciousness through the lens of quantum mechanics. This groundbreaking theory, a collaborative brainchild of physicist Sir Roger Penrose and anesthesiologist Dr. Stuart Hameroff, proposes a quantum basis for consciousness, challenging our traditional understanding of the mind. In this video, we delve into the orsch or theory, exploring its formulation, the revolutionary ideas it presents, and its profound implications for our understanding of consciousness. The orsch or theory emerged from the unique collaboration between two brilliant minds from seemingly disparate fields. Sir Roger Penrose, renowned for his work in mathematics and physics, has long been fascinated by the problem of consciousness an enigma he felt could not be fully explained by conventional science. His foray into this realm led him to explore the possibilities of quantum mechanics in explaining the mind. In parallel, Dr. Stuart Hameroff, an expert in anesthesiology, was intrigued by how anesthesia affects consciousness. His observations and insights into the workings of the brain from a medical perspective provided a unique vantage point. The fusion of Penrose's theoretical prowess and Hameroff's practical medical experience created a synergistic partnership, leading to the formulation of the orsch or theory. Together, they embarked on an intellectual journey to reconcile the mechanics of the quantum world with the mysteries of conscious experience. To appreciate the orsch or theory, a basic understanding of quantum mechanics is essential. Quantum mechanics is the branch of physics that deals with the bizarre and counterintuitive behavior of the universe at the smallest scales. Central to this theory are concepts like quantum superposition, where particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously, and quantum entanglement, a phenomenon where particles become interconnected in such a way that the state of one can instantly influence the state of another, regardless of distance. What makes the orc or theory fascinating is its application of these quantum principles to biology, specifically to the human brain. This approach forms the basis of quantum biology, a field that explores quantum phenomena within biological systems. In the context of the orch or theory, it's the idea that quantum mechanics might play a crucial role in the processes underlying consciousness. Central to the orch or theory, is the role of microtubules within neurons. Microtubules are protein structures in cells, crucial for various cellular processes. Hameroff suggests that these microtubules are not merely structural, but are instrumental in consciousness. He hypothesizes that they act as conduits for quantum processes, influencing neural activity and hence conscious experience. Penrose contributes a quantum mechanical perspective to this hypothesis. He proposes that quantum phenomena, such as superposition and entanglement, could occur at the microtubule level, contributing to cognitive functions. Penrose's quantum theory of consciousness suggests that these processes are linked to the fundamental level of space-time geometry, providing a bridge between quantum mechanics and general relativity. The concept of objective reduction, or OR, is pivotal in this theory. Penrose posits that when quantum states within microtubules reach a certain level of instability, they undergo OR, a process tied to consciousness. This collapse of quantum states is proposed to be orchestrated by neuronal activity and is non-computable, suggesting a quantum basis for the non-algorithmic aspects of the human mind. Hameroff expands on this by proposing that these orchestrated quantum processes in microtubules are synchronized across neurons, leading to a unified conscious experience. This orchestration, according to the theory, is the key to understanding how consciousness emerges from the brain's physical structure. Despite its innovative approach, the orsch or theory faces significant criticisms and challenges. Many neuroscientists and physicists are skeptical of the theory, arguing that the warm, wet, and noisy environment of the brain is hostile to sustained quantum phenomena, which are typically observed in highly controlled, cold environments. Critics also point out the technical difficulties in experimentally verifying the theory, 
particularly the challenge of observing quantum effects in microtubules within functioning brains. Furthermore, the conceptual leap from quantum processes to consciousness remains a subject of intense debate, with some scientists questioning the necessity of invoking quantum mechanics to explain consciousness. The implications of the Orcher theory, if validated, could be profound. It might not only revolutionize our understanding of consciousness, but could also have significant impacts on fields like artificial intelligence and neuroscience. A quantum mechanical basis for consciousness could lead to new paradigms in AI development, potentially guiding the creation of more advanced and conscious machines. Current research in quantum biology and neuroscience continues to explore aspects of the ORC-OR theory. Ongoing studies aim to detect quantum coherence and other quantum phenomena in biological systems, seeking evidence that could support or refute aspects of the theory. In conclusion, the orchestrated objective reduction theory represents a bold interdisciplinary attempt to understand one of the most profound mysteries of science, consciousness. While the theory remains controversial and unproven, its exploration reflects the importance of crossing disciplinary boundaries to tackle complex problems. The orc or theory, whether ultimately proven or disproven, highlights the exciting possibilities that lie at the intersection of quantum mechanics and neuroscience, reminding us of the vast unknowns still waiting to be explored in our quest to understand the human mind.